Glaciers are powerful. Glaciers shape the earth we live with, influence weather, water, wonder, and life. Glaciers make visible time. In 1945, aerial photo surveys began in Iceland. The intent? Make detailed maps of the land of ice and fire. Fast forward in time, 75 years. Today, we've reconstructed those historical photographs into three dimensions and overlaid them with images of Iceland's glaciers from present day, bringing to light immediate, visceral, undeniable proof of a broken clock ticking erratically into our future. This is Bredemerk Yogurt, an outlet glacier on the south coast of the island with a terminus stretching east to west over 12 kilometers wide. The glacier flows a length of over 45 kilometers, making Bredemerk Yogurt Iceland's third largest glacier. But sheer size is no certain protection from the impacts of climatic changes. Today, it's possible to drive along a narrow four-wheel track into the past, navigating ground once entirely covered by glacier ice. Sometimes, Iceland's glaciers can appear so large, it can be hard to accurately assess distance, scale, change, loss. How do we make sense of such enormous natural phenomena disappearing so quickly? Each year, millions of people from around the world travel to Iceland, curious to see, touch, stand on the island's ice. Some scholars labeled this trend last chance tourism where people are driven to witness the ice before it's gone, take photographs of glaciers likely unrecognizable to the next generations. This glacier, Fjallsjökull, has lost over five square kilometers of its physical body between 1989 and 2019 five square kilometers, lost, dissolved away into our world's rising oceans. Since the 1980s, Bredemerk Yogurt's recession rate has accelerated exponentially. Today, the glacier is melting at rates never before seen in human history. More than five kilometers of ice length from the glacier's terminus has vanished. Left in its wake is ever-expanding Jokosarlan, the now deepest lake in Iceland. In 2019, in recognition of the rarity and uniqueness of this place where ice and fire dance, Vatna Yogurt National Park, including Jokosarlan, was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. To the east of Bredemerk Yogurt flows the glacier Skalafellsjökull. As Skalafellsjökull has recessed, like all glaciers on the south coast, it has formed at its terminus a watery brown lagoon full of ground down mountains and hills and history. The glaciers produce these lagoons through overdeepening, a process where glacier ice erodes substantially into bedrock underneath. Glacial rivers drain the lagoons, transporting vast sediment loads into the North Atlantic Ocean, impacting coastal turbidity and aquatic ecosystems. Glaciers never melt just at their edges. They also lose thickness, like this glacier, Hanneberg's 
who not only has lost almost five square kilometers between 1989 and 2019, but has also deflated throughout its entire glacier body. As Hanneberg yogurt responds to increasing air temperatures, the glacier shrinks from view, growing smaller and smaller. Only the striated valley walls give evidence now of Hanneberg's yogurt's past immensity and strength. Over the last 30 years, the glacier has lost 100 meters in thickness. To some locals, it's as if Hanneberg's yogurt was a balloon gently deflating, sinking back down to the ground. Tourists used to clip into mountaineering and safety gear to interact with glacier landscapes. Today, the easiest way to see Hanneberg's yogurt is to hire a local guide, push a kayak into the lagoon, and paddle out towards the ice's edge. Hanneberg's yogurt has thinned over time. Its body has destabilized, broken apart, and flaked off pieces of itself, icebergs of all sizes and thicknesses. People from around the world paddle silently amidst Hanneberg yogurt's remains, wonder at a glacier once whole. As glaciers like this one, flau yogurt, dissolve, running meltwater on the surface bores out holes and tubes and tunnels throughout the glacier's interior. In the winter, these waterways freeze, transforming into surreal blue glacier ice caves. In the winter of 2019, more than 80,000 tourists came to Iceland to see these wonders, to walk inside the stillness, to breathe frozen glacier world. These ice cave experiences might be incomprehensible to future generations, to children who grow up in a world without ice. Since the 1980s, two kilometers of this glacier, Hafelsjökull, have disintegrated and melted away into the ocean. But glaciers don't disappear in isolation. They're outlet rivers, their lakes, their ecosystems, those all disappear too. The outlet river Austerfljot, which Hafelsjökull once fed, is now merely a shell of its former self, a dry channel meandering through an increasingly vegetated sandure. Almost half of the total glacier melt Iceland has witnessed since the Little Ice Age has occurred within the last 30 years alone. This acceleration is intrinsically connected to ever-increasing anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions. All these outlet glaciers, Fjallsjökull, Bredemergajökull, Skalafjallsjökull, Hinebergsjökull, Flaajökull, Hafelsjökull, they are just a handful of the 400 glaciers in Iceland, the 400,000 glaciers and glacierettes 
still left worldwide today. But these glaciers, they show us undeniable evidence that climatic changes are happening and that human beings are transforming Earth's systems. These glaciers, they show us how ice worldwide is disappearing within human lifetimes, our lifetimes. These glaciers, they show us how what happens to ice happens to us. <laughs>